Thank you for your patronage, consumer. Y'all ever hear about Russia? Yes, that kooky country with its fun-loving people and benevolent emperor. I, I mean, f pharaoh, president. Yeah, <laughs> president. It's no wonder that this would be the place to bring us the greatest animated classic to ever exist. From the 1990s comes Captain Bronin, Russia's greatest superstar. Yeah, take that, Walt Disney. Eat and die, Dave Anime. Captain Cronin is here to rock your world. But first, this video is brought to you by Albania. If you're looking for an exciting getaway from the hustle and grind of life, look no further than Albania. Albania is an Eastern European country known for its cool ruins, a sick ass flag with a cool bird on it and an invasive species of blue crabs. Use promo code to get 10% off your citizenship. Albania, why not? So back in 1992, a man by the name of Mikhail Zaitiev saw an influx of Russian action movies trying to imitate the big Schwarzenegger action movies that were becoming more available at the end of the Soviet Union and said, Thus was born Captain Bronin, Russia's greatest superstar. The series produced by Studio Ekran consists of four shorts following the man, the myth, the... As he fights the forces of crime with such villains as... Italian Dracula. Great Value Vader. Comrade Pringles, another Dracula. Russia was just full of Draculas back in the 90s. It was a real epidemic. And of course, the greatest monster of all. Now, let's be real here. The art for the series is quality. It's the kind of jank you get when you only have 50 rubles, a crew of, like, less than a dozen people, and a bootleg copy of Red Heat on VHS. Everybody looks incredible. Pro art tip, if you add more lines to the face, that makes the anatomy better. I have no idea if the voice acting is good. Shit's in Russian. I'm still waiting for them to release an official dub. Hopefully it's soon, because these fan subs are pretty terrible. And as for animation, it's a real tour de force, filled with all, oh, oh, so much Sakuga. I mean, wow. Look at how fluid his movements are in this scene. Truly, Captain Pronin puts all modern animation to shame. Cartoons objectively stopped being good forever after 1999. Now we will never again reach the high of Captain Pronin. Truly, we as a species will know no greater despair. You can never quite shake that good old Russo jank. And it's arguably because of the jank that we know about Pronin today. In 2014, YouTuber Critical released a series of videos in which he dubbed over the Pronin shorts with himself as, as Pronin. And let me tell you, these things, these things are some classic gold. Gentlemen, this is one of the ugliest creatures I've ever laid my eyes on. I'm downright disrespected you brought this shriveled up smurf boogeyman before me. The most popular of these was his dub of Pronin in America, the second of the shorts. This is for good reasons. This is your money. Give me a smoking. No smoking. You give me very little money. This is your money. Give me a smoking. No, sir. Smoke this. 
and because of internet personalities like Critical and Vine Sauce's Joel, I think Captain... what's his name? Captain Protogent. Pronin has lived on as a tiny piece of absurd, janky animation that we laugh at because it's foreign. Captain Pronin isn't just about why copyright law is for bitches. Okay, uh, James Bond. Captain Pronin is the story of a simple Russian man who hates drugs and loves Russia. And you too can learn to love Russia thanks to today's other sponsor, the Kremlin. Transmission terminated. Have a bad day. Sponsor film, Civilization Planet is serious. Well, thank you for sitting through that, I guess. Uh, better hit those buttons wherever they are. You know which one those are. And you better say something in the comments. Uh, something nice, or maybe tell me to kill myself, who knows?